and fellow Singaporeans. And voters from Holland Bukit Timau GRC, Sembawang GRC, Bukit Panjang, and Hiwa. It's hot, and I'm glad you are still here. You have heard my teammates speak in some detail about the key sectors of my $60 billion National Regeneration Plan. My plan has something for every Singaporean. From good jobs, well-paying jobs, to new vibrant businesses, creative enterprises for the young, the old, and the middle-aged Singaporeans. But the PAP distorted my plan, claiming that it will cause loss of jobs. Nothing is further from the truth. They say I want to close down factories and abandon the manufacturing factor. I made no such statement in my paper. I said don't promote manufacturing with new incentives because Singapore is not competitive in manufacturing as we are short of land, labor, and skills. In fact, what I said is the trend that has emerged in the last few decades. Factories have been moving out of Singapore on their own, setting up shop in China, Vietnam, and other places. All over the world, manufacturing has declined as a proportion of national output or GDP. For the world as a whole, manufacturing has fallen from 27% in 1970 to 17% in 2009. In the U.S., from 25% to 13% in the same 40-year period. Australia, from 21% to 9%. Brazil, from 25% to 13% and Japan from 35% to 20%. So the decline of manufacturing is an international phenomenon that has taken place naturally. My plan recognizes this and has allocated $10 billion to help our businessmen in manufacturing to adjust to the economic reality by giving them financial assistance to switch into services or to relocate to neighboring countries such as Malaysia or Indonesia rather than China, faraway places or Vietnam so that they can be near their families and their friends in Singapore and can also take advantage of the professional services of firms in Singapore in law, accounting and finance matters. These professional services that more, a lot of you in the crowd provide. Yet the PAP want to promote and promote and maintain manufacturing at 25%, which is a large chunk of the economy. They are going against the march of economic progress. And they are going to throw your money, big money, to generous tax incentives, give subsidized land renter and more foreign workers to promote industries of the past, not of the future. They now say I am trying to read the National Reserves with my $60 billion plan. Do you agree with them? Let me tell you how much $60 billion means to each individual Singaporean. There are 3.23 million Singaporean citizens. 
If you break it down over five years, 60 billion works out to only $10 per day per Singaporean. Yes, only $10 a day. What is this $10 a day compared to the salary of over $10,000 a day? That PAP ministers get. Whereas $10,000 a day goes into the pocket of PAP ministers and benefit their families. My $10 proposal is invested in all of you and benefit all your families. These $10 a day over the next five years will generate jobs and businesses that will in turn earn back more than the $60 billion that my plan proposes. Why is the PAP so much against my economic plan? Yesterday, Shamugan said my plan is crazy. The reason is simple. It shows how bankrupt of ideas the PAP is to grow the Singapore economy. In the last 10 years or so, the PAP knows of only two ways to grow the economy. Massive influx of cheap, low-skilled foreign workers and the casinos. The casinos are their last card. It is not even a good card. It will lead to the moral decay of Singapore and will bring tears to the families of gambling addicts who lose their family savings to the casinos. What are the tears of a cabinet minister compared to the tears of these families? These families don't cry in public for the TV camera to seek sympathy. They cry in the privacy of their bedrooms. We are now standing here where Sam Sir Stanford Raffles landed many years ago. After he came here, he went back to England leaving this place to Fakuha to manage. But Fakuha did one thing. He promoted gambling. When Sir Stanford Brothers came back and discovered gambling dance in Singapore, what he did is to sack Fakuha. There were no tears. Yes, the casinos will generate jobs, but are they good jobs that make use of your skills and training and education? My $60 billion plan will generate good jobs, well-paying jobs in creative industries, sectors for the professionals, managers, executives, and technicians among you who have lost your jobs or are feeling insecure because the PAP has run out of ideas to help you. PMET is among you. I can sympathize with you. But I have more than sympathy for you. I have a plan. The PAP knows the sufferings of PMTs as well. That is why they are now trying to get your sympathy votes by saying sorry to you. It is very easy to say sorry, but what about the damage the bad police have done to you and your families?
Will you give them your vote and suffer another five years of incompetent government? The PAP deserves no sympathy. Neither do they deserve gratitude from you. They pay themselves millions of dollars salary every year, even though they have failed to perform their duties to you. You suffer loss of jobs to foreigners, overcrowding in buses, MRT trains, shopping malls, public parks. You do not owe the PAP any more gratitude. You are long past any sense of gratitude because they have become incompetent. Gratitude is not servitude. It is not blind loyalty. It does not mean giving up the sense of what is right and what is wrong or what is good and what is bad. You must also not vote for PAP out of fear. Your vote is secret. Nobody knows how you vote. Hundreds of thousands of Singaporeans have voted for the opposition and nothing has happened to them. I voted for the opposition when I was in the civil service. I got promoted in good time. Even ahead of many in my cohort. When I worked for banks and fund management houses like you do, I also voted for the opposition. I continue to rise in my career, eventually becoming regional head of Asia Pacific operations. I want to speak next on cost of living. Rising cost of living affects everybody, not just the poor. Even the middle class is squeezed. People like you. The PAP tells you they cannot do much about it because they say that it is caused by external factors. Commodities like oil and other important goods. The truth is this is only half the story. A study by two university researchers shows that half of the increase in consumer prices is due to domestic factors such as government policies. These policies generate huge surpluses of between $10 billion and over $30 billion a year in the last 10 years. What does budget surplus mean? Budget surplus means that the government has raised more revenue than it needs to provide basic services to the public. It is good to have a slight surplus, but the surpluses have consistently been very large. And this means you have been severely overtaxed over the years. With GST, ERP, COE and a lot of things. GST alone gives the government more than $6 billion last year. All this came from you. We can do without the GST and still have a healthy budget surplus. That's why we at the SDP proposes removal of GST of all essential goods and services and reductions of GST to 3% for non-essential staff. Our economic plan gives you hope. It is a $60 billion plan to regenerate our economy in six areas with $10 billion each, which will create good jobs for Singaporeans and businesses for our small local enterprise, small businessmen. It will give hope for businessmen in manufacturing 
who want to switch into services or relocate to neighboring countries. It will give hope for young people in creative industries who dare to dream of becoming the next Facebook, Google, and Baidu. It will give hope for better education to small, smaller class size. It will give hope for healthcare needs, more hospital beds, more doctors, more nurses, hope for jobs and services within the community so that people do not travel far from jobs and services and mothers and senior citizens can take up part-time work and look after their children at the same time. Hope for families to have more children. Do you dare to dream and realize these hopes? Only one thing and one thing alone stands between hope and reality. Your vote. Do not vote out of sympathy because PAP does not deserve your sympathy. They pay themselves millions of dollars out of your taxes. Do not vote out of gratitude because you don't owe the PAP any more gratitude. Do not vote out of fear because your vote is secret. Give your vote to the party that has a coherent, comprehensive plan that gives you this hope. Hope for every Singaporean, young, middle-aged and old. And hope for your children. The SDP has a robust plan that gives you this hope. Vote for the 